Hello and welcome back. This is problem W intervals from educational DP contest from Adcoder. Let's go over the problem statement. Consider a string of length n consisting of 0 and 1. The score of the string is calculated as follows. So you are given m segments, each with endpoints li and ri, and there is a score associated with each segment. Now, for each segment, uh, if the ranges if the characters in the range L to R contains at least one, one, then um, the score AI is added to the total score, and we need to find the maximum possible score of a string. The string is formed only using letters zero and one. The constraints are as follows, and you can see the ranges are between one and n. So let's understand the problem a bit better. So let's assume that we have constructed a string of zeros and ones where only i and j are one as mentioned in this diagram and there are three segments with corresponding range endpoints and the scores are a1 a2 and a3 in this case this total score of our string will be a1 plus a2 plus a3 because this segment has one in, in in that range hence a1 will be added this segment has one two times so the condition is at least once hence a2 will be added and a3 will also be added because this index i lies in this range so yeah that's the problem and we need to find out what will be the maximum possible score over all the possible strings so let's go over some of the observations suppose uh, we turn on the beta at position i uh, how much does the contribution to the score change is an interesting observation to look at so suppose we initially put a one at index j and we added to the answer all the segments which pass through j hence a1 and a2 will be added but after j if we turn on the bit at i then only a3 will be added so one observation that we found out is uh, suppose uh, any bit at i position is turned on then what all contributions will be added in the answer until index i will depend on what what was the previous position of one to the left of i yeah so as we saw it depends on the previous turn on position which is j as we saw in this diagram so uh, assuming that i was the first bit turned on after position j what segments contribute to the score so in this example we saw only a3 contributed because a1 and a2 would already have been taken into the sum of scores when j was turned on so as we are computing the answer from left to right first of all if we turned on the j bit then a1 and a2 would have been added and after that if we turn on i then only a3 will be added so yeah, that was the main observation so based on that observation we can come up with the following recurrence relation so let's say the maximum possible answer up to index i for the prefix from index 1 to i is dp of i so dp of i denotes the maximum possible score for the first i elements when the ith bit is turned on and j is the previously turned on bit as we saw uh, it depends on the previous turned on position hence it is important to consider that so uh, this recurrence finds out the maximum possible score until index j and adds the contribution for i by considering what was the position j ignoring all the ranges which were added in index j yeah so this is the straightforward recurrence relation for this again contribution ij is the sum of the scores of the segments where this condition is valid it passes through i but does not pass through j uh, this makes sure that we don't overcount. so let's also go over once again so suppose so in this example contribution j i will be a3 because this is the only segment which passes through i but 
does not pass through J. All the other segment pass through J, hence only A3 will be the uh, contribution in that case. And this can be easily computed in order n square by performing two for loops and be computing all the contributions beforehand. So this is not visible since the constraints are too large for this approach. So let's go over some optimized observation that we can think of. Maybe we can optimize this further. So to update the value for DP of i, which was this recurrence relation, what all information do we need is illustrated in this diagram. Suppose we want to update the answer for the ith index and j will be all pos all possible positions below i. So j will lie in this range. And suppose these black ranges are the ranges which pass through i. Right. So li, r, ai and ri are the parameters of those ranges. And this red one does not pass through i index. Hence I have marked this, marked this as red. And for all these segments, what we need to perform is we can we need to add all the possible contributions in this green portion. All the possible contributions for J in this green portion will be responsible for the segments. So this segment will take the contributions in this green portion, this one from this and and so on so the black ones are the segment passing through point i and green ones are the contribution that we can take for a particular black segment so the main idea is so to optimize this further any segment li ri and ai will be responsible for the points only in the range li and ri that's what we saw and the score ai from the ith segment will be used for the contribution only for the points from 0 to li minus 1 so suppose j bit is turned on and after j we want to choose i what will be the next set position and for that we we understood is the only the only points where the scores of these black segments will be applicable will be in this ranges which is to the left hand side of the left hand point right so these green marked ones are the previous positions where these scores can be added so that is the main observation main observation and let's go over implementation detail how we can implement this in better time complexity so suppose at any point i we want to know the black ranges right at, at, at any point i we want to know uh, the scores of all the ranges that are passing through this point and the way that we can do this is uh, maintaining events of the type l comma r plus one and whenever we encounter a event of a left end point we add particular score corresponding with that event and after that range is exited which is from the point r plus 1 we add a subtracted score in our green portion so that it it does not affect the sum once it once the range has passed on and uh, this operation is basically adding values in range and subtracting values in range and uh, since this dp is based on finding out the maximum value in a particular range which is j equals to 0 to i minus 1 and uh, we also need to query the maximum value in this range so the best data structure to use here is segment is and we will use range updates and range queries for segment is in this case so let's go over one interesting thing so now we are going to store this contribution for each index in a segment tree so that's what we have arrived currently at 
So let's see what the segment stores. It stores the contribution for all the points. So uh, the index of a segment tree stores the what will be the contribution to the score if the if that index is taken as a G coordinate, which is what we are iterating over here. And again the index of the segment tree is the index of the string and the value of that index is the contribution for that point since now we we only found out how we can quickly find out the contribution in a particular range or a particular point so next the next thing is uh, to update the value of tp of i as you can see the tp of i is tp of j plus the contribution for the index j but until now we have only considered how to store contribution of j we haven't added the tp value for that index in an, in the segmentary hence uh, after con com what we can do is after the dp value for a current index is calculated we can add it in the particular index in the segmentary so that varying for a particular range in the segmentary will directly give us the best value that we can update the dp array for the current position so um, let me also go over this illustration to clarify so suppose this is the segmentary and uh, i want to explain what we will store at a particular index in a segmentary so since we are going to traverse the ranges in the form of events so suppose a uh, opening event of a segment comes so it is associated with a left endpoint and a particular score which will be positive in this case because this range has been started and it will uh, correspond to the score for uh, until this blue region is considered and after that range is processed it will uh, end at r and after r plus one uh, we can subtract the score which we have added in the starting event of this segment so where the main idea is to add a score in this range plus score in this red range and whenever the segment is finished we can subtract the score from this range this makes sure that we don't account the segment for multiple points and it makes sure that the answer is correct so uh, we can simply after the score is added at a particular index so segmentary will store score of 1 plus dp of 1 in the first index score of 2 plus dp of 2 in the second index and so on and this is what we want to find the maximum for the ith position directly so let me go over the recurrence once again so to update the answer for the ith position we simply need the maximum value of d of j plus contribution and since the segment tree already stores these values so dp of j plus score and score is as same as the contribution from all the segments and simply querying so updating the answer for the ith index is simply asking for the maximum values over all these ranges all these and all these indexes so dp of i is simply the prefix maximum over the first i minus one element so we will simply update the answer for dp of i with the maximum value from these three values so after for the next iteration let's look at how the segment will look like the events will be processed one after the other uh, by from the points one to n sequentially so in this case after i is processed i will move to the next one and we have we will have the scores updated at that position if there are any events lying there and dp of 4 will now be added in the in this step we found out what dp of 4 was and in the next step we are adding dp of 4 in that particular segmentary point so this value will be used for the next iteration so dp of 5 will be the maximum over these four values and so on so this is how the entire 
blue of the solution is going to look like so yeah let's go over the implementation so you we are given n and m and m ranges are given with their scores as a l r and a i am incrementing the ranges to make them in the range 2 to n plus 1 because i am using a segmentary which is using one based indexing hence it is important to consider the case where we will use zero as the point for querying the maximum hence i have just shifted the ranges to the right hand point and will process the points from 2 to n plus 2 instead so add will add is a vector of integers array of vectors and it will store all the events um, from the left hand point and uh, the scores for them and for the end of a range which is from point r plus one i'm storing the score as well as the left hand point because uh, whenever a uh, right endpoint occurs we need to subtract the score from this green uh, sorry from this red part and this red part is basically the left hand side of l so this point needs also needs to have the information what was the left endpoint of this blue segment so that this red portion will be updated with the negative value of the score after this range has been processed at the end point so yeah score and the left end point we are initializing a segment tree and we have the dp values in dp of 0 0 which is the base condition we don't take any segment uh, if we don't have anyone and the answer for that will be 0 and we are processing the point from 2 to n plus 2 because again i have shifted the ranges to the right hand side so we will add all the points we will process all the points at a point p all the ranges at point p so there can be multiple ranges passing through this point and basically we need to add the cost in the range 1 to l minus 1 in this case it was l minus 1 so this p is the position that we are iterating over hence the red region that is marked here is the range 1 to p minus 1 and we are adding a plus cost for all the indexes in this range and for all the ranges that are exiting at this point we are going to subtract which is same as adding a minus cost in this range and as we saw the dp value will simply be the maximum over the range 0 to i minus 1 and in my implementation it will be from 1 to p minus 1 and we will take simply the maximum and again we need to add the value for current dp which is dp of p as we saw here we are going to add dp of 4 in that position as well once it is computed so that it will be used in the next iteration and this will simply compute all the dp values and we need to take a maximum from them this is how we will arrive at the final solution this i will provide the link to all the question and implementation in the description box and as well as you can go over what this segment is using so the main operation that seg this segment is using is uh, adding a value to a range and querying for maximum these are the two operations that we need to perform and this will help us solve the problem entirely the time complexity for this will be since there are p points that we are iterating over to p and since this for loop don't contribute in all because we have added exactly two m events so m events are m segments are there and for each segment we have two events which are l and r plus one hence the this iteration of these two for loops will be at most order m and so the total time complexity will be n plus m and this query will take logarithmic time hence that factor will also be considered yeah so that's it about this video do let me know if you have any suggestions or doubts thank you